what is the OSI layer and why it is going to be used. So OSI is known as the Open System Interconnect. It's a model, right? It is just a reference model or blueprint. It is just set of rule, right? And this is going to define how my packet is going to be transmitted from one PC to another PC. Each layer have the different set of the function. Means when I go and define the OSI layer, we have the total seven layer. These all seven layers have the different different functions, right? So this is known as a layered base architecture. So you have the first layer that is a seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. This is the one layer that is known as the application layer, right? This is known as the, your <clears throat> presentation layer. This is known as your session layer. This is known as your transport layer. This is known as a network layer. This is known as a data link layer. And this is the physical layer. So these all layer are going to be used through all the communication and each layer have the set of function, which is going to make sure how the data is going to be transmitted from one device to another device. Let's take an example. This is my one device, right? And this device want to send a data to another device. So this is my data packet. So how this is going to be traveled. So basically one device need to send a data to another device. There is two method. One, I required the cable between these two devices. And this cable we understand this could be the, my RJ45 cable or might be the fiber if they support fiber cable. The third method we have that might be we can send via the Wi-Fi that is known as the wireless network. But most important thing whenever I'm going to use any media these are the media type right the cable fiber and my Wi-Fi wireless it could be any media. But end goal when my packet is going to send, they have to follow the Hararkar architecture approach means they have to go with the all seven layer, the application layer, presentation layer, session layer, transport layer, network layer, then we have the data link layer, then we have the physical layer. The physical layer is the actual layer. It could be your RG45 cable, the fiber cable or might be the wireless media. It could be anything, but they have to follow the same approach.